The most abundant element in the universe is hydrogen, comprised in most cases of a single proton and orbiting electron, more formally regarded as protium. Say that instead of hydrogen from now on, and you'll sound extra sophisticated 99.99% of the time. That's because deuterium and tritium make up the other 0.01%. A single protium atom is extremely small, if we're including the orbital diameter of the electron, an atom is roughly 106 picometers wide. This is a hydrogen atom here. So if an atom of hydrogen was the size of a golf ball, the diameter of a single strand of human hair would stretch across the Strait of Dover with room to spare. That's 25 miles, by the way, or 40.2 kilometers to be exact. But let's go bigger. What about the size of a modern Intel CPU transistor, which I explain in more detail right here? Well, even at this size, the distance between individual fins is actually not large at all. Using Skylake 14 nanometer architecture as a reference, the distance between two fins is roughly 14 nanometers, meaning that we could fit 132 protium atoms and some change across this distance. Still too small, assuming a uniform distribution of transistor fins throughout an entire Skylake CPU die and a single fin per square trigate transistor, we could fit just under 30 and a half trillion atoms into that die. This again assumes that the die itself is made entirely out of hydrogen, which is definitely not the case. So let's keep going then. Visible light, that narrow slice of electromagnetic radiation that humans can see C has wavelengths between roughly 400 and 700 nanometers, still 100 times smaller than the diameter of a single human hair. Let's move up to that next. It would take 485 hairs stacked side by side to span the thickness of the world's thinnest smartphone, currently the Vivo X5 Max, at 4.75 millimeters, 30% slimmer than the iPhone 6. Let's talk about animals for a second. The world's largest spider, the goliath bird-eating tarantula, is recorded to have reached 30 and a half centimeters, or one foot. But that's nothing compared to the largest shark ever found, a 12.2 meter long whale shark. <laughs> Got you there. I should also mention the largest animal in existence currently is the blue whale, which can reach lengths of up to 30 meters or 98 feet. The tallest man-made structure, the Burj Khalifa, stretches 830 meters high, I'll be visiting it very soon by the way, stay tuned for that, and is the equivalent of just under 28 blue whales stacked nose to tail. The the tallest mountain on Earth, Mount Everest, stretches 8,848 meters high, nearly 11 Burj Khalifas, and we're about to leave Earth, so let's go ahead and take a step back for a second. Now since we started with a single protium atom, how many of those would it take to reach the summit of Mount Everest from sea level? This many. 83,471,698,000,000 of them. At an altitude of 100 kilometers, 62 miles above sea level, outer space quote unquote begins according to the Kármán Line treaties. In the same way that it takes 11 Burj Khalifas to reach the summit of Mount Everest, it takes 11 Everest to reach the edge of space. Distance to the moon? On average, 384,400 kilometers. The average diameter of Earth's orbit around the Sun is 300 million kilometers, that's 781 times the distance to the Moon, and the average diameter of our solar system is 9.1 billion kilometers. The distance to the next nearest star, you ready for this one? 4.22 light years. Since light travels 299,792 kilometers per second, we can calculate the linear distance to this star, Proxima Centauri, by the way, roughly 39 trillion 900 billion kilometers, or 271,000 astronomical units, 271,000 times further than the Earth is from the Sun. The diameter of the Milky Way comes out to just over 100,000 light years, and the diameter of the universe, you ask? 93 billion light years. That's the observable part, at least. And how many atoms across? this many. This is Science Studios Minute Science. Thanks for learning with us.